Hello everybody, Eric the Green back here. And uh, this is a special video because I need your help in identifying uh, this fig. Now this is uh, an Adriatic type fig. Uh, it has it, uh, when it's ripe, it has the, uh, the green skin and the deep red interior. And uh, this tree, I'm at my mom's and this is a tree these two trees here, actually, they're about 15 feet tall right now. And uh, these two trees my dad bought in 2007 or 2008. And he bought one, they, he bought them in a local nursery, potted. And one of them was supposed to be Italian Everbearing and the other one was supposed to be Texas Everbearing. That's what the label said anyway. But when they grew up, they were a lot better than either one of those figs. Um, this is what got me into figs because I was here one day and there was a ripe green fig hanging down, a yellow fig, and it was so awesome. That's what got me into figs, so I had to have, got to collect them all now. So, But anyway, we got some getting ripe here, and this is a pretty awesome variety. Um, I don't know what it is. Here's a leaf. This is the typical leaf. Um, now, I don't know. Uh, I don't think the leaf matches green Ischia. Uh, maybe strawberry verte, maybe Bataglia green. Um, uh, some of the leaves I think look like uh, Vasilika Sika or Sister Madeline's Green Greek. And then I think like this one, this one does to me. But then I think, you know, how, how would those figs um, get into common enough circulation that they were mislabeled figs at a nursery? So, uh, if anybody can help, uh, there's the leaf. Now, I'll show you a fig here in a second. Let me see. Right here. Um, there's some up way high over there that are really ripe I'm going to try to get in a minute. All right now, um, here's a couple that are... They're ripe, but they're not, you know, super ripe. Now, this goes from unripe to huge, swelled up, to... All, it dries on the tree almost it, it dries into like a jelly candy strawberry candy jelly like a all, real thick I mean it's it's really uh, an amazing fig but here's a quarter we'll put it next to that for reference it's a large fig they're not normally this large and when they dry they're definitely small um, smaller right there um, it's got a pretty tight eye. Most of them do. They don't. They don't ruin very easily in the rain. They don't ever split that I know of. There, pretty cool. All right, let me put this quarter away, and I will. Um, pretty large fig, not. To, like I said, this is a large one. They're not always this big. But look at that interior. Um, super dark red. Now, this is the only Adriatic type that I've ever eaten besides JH Adriatic that I tried this year for the first time. And JH Adriatic was very good, but this is the most intense fig I've ever had. Um, it, it, it is very intense, berry, and very, very sweet. Like I said, this is a little underripe compared to uh, the jelly candy stage, but I'll try this one. Oh, yeah. The berry is even more intense. The acidity, when they're a little underripe this way. I'm going to find a really ripe one here in a minute. I saw one, so I'm going to try to get it down. It's really high. All right, here I am in between the two trees, and that's at least 10 feet high right there. See, there's there's one ripe one, and there's a bigger one up in there. I think there's several ripe ones here. I'm going to try to bend this down and get one of the riper ones. Let's see. I'm going to try to do this with the camera here. Here's one of the ripe ones. Oh, that got, it's got some bird damage. That's a smaller one. 
than the one earlier, but this is going to be the most intense flavor. Um, these are just awesome figs. Okay, there's the interior. Very deep red, and I don't know how to describe the flavor. Now the texture, it's almost chewy. It's really, really jelly, jemmy candy, strawberry flavored. Mm. That is, uh, that's the best fig I've ever had. Um, and I've, I've tried quite a few varieties, but um, the acidity and the flavor, the richness, the sweetness, uh, it just uh, it blows the JH Adriatic away um, in that category as an Adriatic um, in all those categories. But the JH Adriatic is, uh, you know, it's, it's been in the ground um, this year. So I, I expect it to get better. And uh, these freeze back a little bit. Um, not very bad. But I'm working with my mom, and we're going to try to reduce some of this suckering because there's like 50 suckers here. I think they'd be a lot more productive um, if uh, they were down to, you know, a, a few trunks. But uh, I mean, it's got quite a few figs on it, but a lot of them are really high. So we're gonna we're gonna work on that, I think. But if anybody uh, can ID this, and right there, you know, is a leaf that looks. Uh, more of the regular five, the f regular five lobed. Like I said, some of them look more, uh, um, more like a green Greek or Basilica Sika VS or something. But um, I don't know. All right, I sure appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Unknown Adriatic.